What's up guys, this is Mike from Terrestrial Imaging, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the Dromite Talon drop system for the Matrice 300 RTK. First, let me say thank you for purchasing the Dromite Talon drop system. This video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step the installation process. So first, let's take every component out of the box. We have the drop mechanism itself, we have our tools. So you have a two millimeter, a 2.5 millimeter, and a 5.64 uh, hex driver. We have the mounting plates that are gonna go on the side of the aircraft. We have what we call the roof rack, which is a wire management system for the connection cable that goes into the top of the aircraft. And then lastly, we have the strobe light cover which is also a light sensor, and this is what's going to be used to actually activate and drop the payload. The first step in the process is to install the mounting plates. So in this bag, you'll have the two mounting plates, obviously. I'll take those out. And then we have a tube of Loctite. We should have eight screws. And on these mounting plates, you have two screws already installed into aircraft grade nut plates. And these are what you're gonna finally tighten down to lock down the uh, drop mechanism in place. These should never come out and these shouldn't need Loctite either. Next, we're gonna take the aircraft and we're gonna remove the batteries. So we just don't want this turning on in the middle of uh, installing. So I'm gonna put these over to the side. And we're also gonna unfold the arms to make it easier. Now this has to be a little bit of a pain. And we're gonna lock those. Now we're gonna flip the aircraft upside down. We have a nice foam pad. We highly recommend this, and the main reason is because we have a strobe light on top of the aircraft. And if you lay it on a hard surface, this could very easily break. And be careful of the propellers. They uh, like to swing when you move the aircraft. So we're gonna take our 2.5 millimeter hex driver, and on the sides of the aircraft where the legs mount, you have these four screws. So we're gonna remove those which essentially re removes the landing gear bracket in the leg. So now that we have the legs removed, the next step is to mount the plates. And what we're gonna do first, you wanna take those screws that were already in the aircraft and you're gonna wanna separate them and put them in a bag and hold on to them uh, because the ones we include with the kit, these are actually a bit longer to compensate for the extra width of the plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Loctite and we're just gonna preload all these screws with some Loctite. After we got the Loctite on the screws, we want to take our plates and put them 
on and match them up with the landing gear bracket. So if you look at the landing gear bracket, you'll notice that it has two knobs coming out of it. And if you look at the plate that we've made, you have six holes. So the two center holes are actually going to line up with these two knobs. So we're going to put, it, put them together. And the most important part here is that these screw heads are facing outside and they're up. And so next we're going to line these up with the aircraft and we're going to start installing the screws. All right, so for the screws that we just installed, uh, it's important you don't have to crush them, just snug is good and the Loctite will do its job. And then again, with these two screws, the heads have to be pointing out, that's crucial. So for the next step, we're gonna leave the aircraft upside down. We're going to take our strobe light cover and light sensor, and we're gonna mount it right here over the strobe light. And so in this bag, you have two screws and two small washers. These are really small, so just be careful um, and don't lose them, don't drop them. We're gonna take a Phillips Zero screwdriver. We're gonna get the washer over the screw. And the light sensor, so there's a little cutout, a little indent that fits into the aircraft's will end in, indent on the bottom. So it should go like that and the hole should line up. And I'm gonna place the, put the screws in place. I'm gonna go ahead and screw those down. All right, so we have our strobe light cover on and the light sensor. Um, if you're going to leave this on for an extended period of time, it might not be such a bad idea to include uh, Loctite on those screws. Um, and you could also put a little Velcro right here on the bottom of the aircraft to hold this uh, connector there. But that's it for this part. We're gonna flip the aircraft back over and we're gonna go to the top and mount the drop mechanism. The next step, we're gonna mount the roof rack. So in that bag, you should have two screws, uh, two pieces, and a rubber band. So the way this goes, these two holes line up 
with these two holes towards the center of the aircraft. So they're gonna go sit and rest right there. And then this metal plate is gonna go on top of this plastic piece. And those holes should line up. And pay attention to the orientation of that metal piece. So we're gonna slide the screws in, we're gonna line them up. And here you're gonna take your two millimeter hex driver and we're going to go ahead and tighten those down. And for these, again, if you're going to leave these on for an extended period of time, we recommend putting Loctite on. And you don't have to crush these screws. Again, just nice and snug. Um, and that's it for the roof rack. This is going to guide the wire down the side of the aircraft, um, and that's what these rubber bands are for. So you have these cutouts on either side, and so you're gonna use the rubber band to basically hold and secure that wire. The last step in the installation is to install the drop mechanism itself. So if you look on the side of this aluminum plate, you'll see that there's cutouts that match with the screws on the mounting plates. And so essentially this grabs those screws you pull it down, you twist the screws to lock it in place. Uh, when you mount this piece, you want the button facing the back of the aircraft. So we're gonna go ahead and, and install this. So you'll see, we match it up with the screws on both sides, pull it down, and then we take our 5 64 inch uh, hex driver, um, and we go ahead and screw those screws in. Now, you may actually have to twist this leg locking piece because um, these wings might get in the way. And so now that they're out of the way, it's really easy. We just, there you go, we just tighten these down. And again, you don't have to crush these. You just want to make sure that it's tight enough to the point where this thing isn't moving or swinging at all in flight. All right, so we have the drop mechanism in place and it's locked down tight, not moving, not going anywhere. So we're going to plug the cable, the power cable in the top. So we're gonna open up this port. So I'm facing the front of the aircraft now um, and it's the left if you're fading, facing the front of the aircraft. And so we're going to use this wire management system to hold the wire and we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. So you'll notice there's cutouts in here and we made a special cable so that way it fits. So that's in place now. We're gonna use our rubber bands to hold the wire in place. And the reason this is so important is because we wanna make sure, one, this wire doesn't move at all in flight, and two, we wanna make sure that it's uh, away from the vision sensor on the side of the aircraft. So you could mount this however you like, whatever's comfortable for you with the rubber band. Um, then we're gonna go to the bottom of the aircraft. And so this connector that goes to the light sensor has uh, a Velcro strip um, already installed and attached to it. So we're just gonna peel back this tape. We're going to now stick this on the bottom of the aircraft. I'm just gonna get down a little bit so I can see. It helps to plug the light sensor in first. So that way you could tell exactly where to mount that Velcro. And so there it is. There you have it. The drop mechanism is fully installed.
now that we have the drop system installed, I'm going to show you how to use it. So first, we're going to turn on the aircraft, and this is what will power the drop mechanism. And once it's powered on, we can go ahead and we could use the button on the back to open and load the uh, payload. So we hit it, the drop mechanism opens, we put our payload in here, I'm just using my keys, and we press the button, and it's installed. So loading it is super easy, and then now I'm gonna show you how to activate it, which is also super easy. So again, if you remember, we installed a light sensor on the bottom of the aircraft over the strobe light. So a sequence of turning on and off the strobe lights is what's going to ultimately activate the payload release in flight. So once we have everything connected, we're gonna go into our app, and, so, and the sequence is simple. We turn on the strobe light, and then we turn it off. And the strobe light has to be off for five seconds. Once it's been off after activating it uh, for five seconds, then we're just gonna simply turn on the strobe light again. And so that second time we turn on the strobe light, that is what's gonna trigger the drop. So real simple, we go on the controller, we hit the strobe light button, and you can see the top strobe light's going off, so you know this is working. Uh, the bottom one is covered, and the light sensor is detecting that. Um, next, we're gonna turn it off, and we wanna count to five. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we're ready to release by simply pressing that strobe light button again. So we hit it again, and there we go. The drop is activated, and now it'll actually close itself too. You can turn off that strobe light, and you fly it back, load it up the same way, activate it again. So again, really simple, guys. That's it, guys. I hope this installation video was helpful. If you have any questions or are having any problems, feel free to contact us at info at terrestrialimaging.com, and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you.